Hello everyone and welcome back to Getting Wrecked and we are playing Scene Outs today and um, in our last episode we found a crashed scout with our B team and I my telephone rang more, like uh, almost as many times as we found an alien because there was only four aliens in that mission uh, but it was just a training mission for our B team this though is a crashed um, no, a landed carrier with 14 seasons and 6 waves. This might be a bad idea to do this mission. Mostly because of the psionic attacks. Because uh, in our last mission against a carrier like this, we actually lost a guy or a girl. Hmm. And I'm not even sure if that was a landed carrier or if it's a crashed carrier. We moved pretty far and still can't see a single alien. That makes me very nervous. So the thing is, if they mind control you, you have the chance to spread out. But in uh, our last mission against Seasons, they made one of my soldiers berserk. And uh, killed one of my soldiers that way. So I don't think there is any way around that. Mm. I'm trying to do some scouting here, but. We have a season inside here, but at least he didn't have any of these large guns. And that's something we need to check if the season seasons ever use the plasma cannon. Because that's good information. Mm. That's a good sniper spot, I guess up here would be pretty good. If he doesn't get Killed. Let's have a sniper down here because this guy might move around inside this building. Then he can be down here providing fire support. And then we have machine gun Kate. Let's have her break down this <laughs> door. Oh, she actually opened it. What the? Hmm. Nikolai, how trusty Nikolai. You have to move around the back of this building. And Olav. We have kind of scouted this area. So, standing here should be safe. I'm not sure if I'm overextending myself right now. But, we'll see. Impressive <laughs> rapes. Hmm. 
right. Even with all these civilians, the aliens didn't take a single shot that turn. Strange. So, what should we do? I guess that uh, Machine Gun K should deal with this sucker. This should be a good shot for Olav here, but he already has 100 accuracy, so let's try to increase the accuracy of Hiroshi here. Oops. Hmm. Is that a hit? Yeah. Took a lot of uh, strength from the shield as well. Hmm. Right. So let's try to find this guy again. he have? I'm not sure, but that's a target for our sniper. Nope. How about Luke? Maybe baby, but uh, yeah. Not very likely. We are almost destroying uh, his car at least. Oh! Snapshot right in the head. Yeah, that actually seems like one of these plasma cannons. Mm. Perhaps uh, you can get a line of fire here. Almost seems like it. Boom! Alston is firing rockets with his, his gun. Right. So we still have this season here somewhere. And I'm not too keen about that. Let's bring Nikolai behind this. Hmm. If he's he was here the last turn, so he might have run out here, or he may have run over here, and then in that case, Nikolai is in a bad spot here. But if I move here, I might be able to use this high cover. Let's move here and then kneel. So like that. Okay, he's back here. Do we have anyone that have the chance to shoot at him? Well, not really. It's a really strange angle. Get a sniper on this roof. That way we have one sniper back here and one over here. I'm a little bit concerned that this guy might actually have line of fire against her. But uh, yeah, not much I can do about that. Hmm. Let's bring uh, Nier over here. Well, she shouldn't fly like this. Okay, let's do it then. But we have one more back there. So this guy might run all the way through here, but I'm hoping that if he does that, he will not have enough time units to shoot, but we'll see. Oh, he moved the other way. 
Okay, the psionic attacks are starting. Hmm. All the civilians are staying far away from the UFO. Which might be a good idea, but still. Okay. This should be a kill. Actually, perfect shot. Alright, do we have one of those suckers? Hmm. Like I said, uh, there is a. See some inside this building as well. So what I will most likely do is to use these two guys to attack them while I'm trying to stay out of line of sight with my other guys. Uh, let's continue on exploring here. Another season. Well, it's way too far away for a sniper shot like this. If or not. These guys, I'm not sure. I would like to get some intel about where this guy went. we have scouted most of this area we could open this door and close it yeah, so this room is empty so it has to be in this room or this house still okay there is stupid car being in the way like that You can do it. Damn it. How about Luke? Doesn't really have the angle. And the Olaf is kind of in the way. Let's see if we can get an angle at all. This wall is always blocking. Okay, over here is actually possible. Hmm. hmm. I'm wondering um, if we could get a line of fire with Kate, mashing on Kate here. It would be awesome. Seems pretty hard though. Hmm. So close that Olaf is able to go inside like that. Being on top over here might be a bad idea as well. Whoa! Didn't mean to do that. <sighs> Is this a good idea? Nope. Is this a good idea? Nope. Is this a good idea? Nope. Because this guy might shoot me. Damn it. This car is really breaking my balls here. Let's do 
still not good enough angle. Oh well, um, let's just run like this. Perhaps we can suppress him or something. Uh, nope. How about the smoke? No one really have the time units to throw smoke though. I would like to throw smoke over here somewhere, but 55 units, I'm, I mean, I will not be able to do it because there's so much thing, so many things in the way here. 70% chance, yeah, do it. And if I stand in the open like this, I'm really screwed, I think. Have much of a choice though. Get into the smoke. Mm. See if I can suppress him by shooting close to him. I don't uh, want to stay like this in the open. So let's head back. Hmm. We still need to deal with this guy as well. Game is hard. And you're just flying around like a sitting duck. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, that wasn't really my intention, but all right. Damn it! Misclicks is this it's the worst thing in this game. Psionic attacks again. The problem is that my weapons are so powerful against my armor. So if I get uh, if I shoot my own guys, they are most likely one-shotted. Because these weapons are stronger than the aliens' weapons. Alright. This guy is still here. Interesting. This should be an easy kill for our sniper. Or even machine gun Kate. <laughs> I understand why he's uh, covering like that after her. Having her shooting like that. Damn it, this guy. Hmm. Wondering if we will have friendly fire here. Yeah, we will. Hmm. Well, let's move over here then. This should be a 100% kill, I hope. Okay, not this time around. Hmm. Things are not really going very well for me this this mission. At least that guy is down. This guy might have 
move it back. That's my guess at least. But yeah, dealing with this guy might be troublesome because we could actually move back one square here. Which might help. But yeah, if we want to kill this guy, I guess we could use Olav here. Let's do it all in. Flying across the map, no problems. Oops, thank you Olav. For a savior. So, we actually get to the point where we should start making some aggressive movements towards the UFO. I want to get my sniper up here as well. Hmm. Let's try this. Hopefully no reaction on the fire. Then she should be able to deal with this guy the next turn. Bring my two rookies forward. Drunken Sailor. First of all, let's check behind this. Like so. And then we should have this guy check here as well, but it's not so easy since he has to move around. Spend all my time units like this, not really, but okay. There is hiding. This should be a kill. Missed the 95 percent shot, uh, might not be a kill anymore. Aim shot or burst fire? Let's use an aim shot. Good. <laughs> I was getting a little bit uh, nervous. Oh, come on. One more. I cannot see what kind of alien that is. Hmm. And uh, Machine Gun Kate cannot help you because she has to reload. Boom, yeah. Teach that wall a lesson. Okay. Yeah. Could try to use this sniper, but that's not going to happen. Let's just bring him down here. Go forward. Olaf, you can join uh, Lars here. Do a flanking mission. Oh man, if Luke had a flying suit, I'm certain he would be able to fly up here and uh, kill this 
whatever it is in the dark here. Is it actually... I have a feeling it's inside the UFO though. Hmm. Stupid psionic attacks. Okay, it was just a non-combatant sitting there with a the pistol. I'm not sure why a pistol guy would run outside, because pistols are really good in the close quarters, but uh, not as good outside. So, I would like to get some kills on Nikolai, but that's not going to happen. Say two normal shots <laughs> into the tree. Mm. Mm. One normal and one aim shot. Still miss. What's up with these misses? Oh, it's time to shine, Corporal Nira. Oh, he's just out of our effective range. Oh, well. That's right. Yeah! That will, that will teach him. Anyway, how about Luke? Let's just move forward a bit. Hmm. I will actually use burst fire because I had a feeling he will not die in one shot anyway. And I was right. So. I'm always happy when I'm right. Um, yeah. So about this guy with the pistol. Oops. Okay, he went all the way back there. He has one friend, but that's all in this large room. Which means we could bring our sniper up here, and perhaps Corporal Nikolai could open this door. And while he can do that, he will not be able to close it. But we have Machine Gun Kate as well, so I'm feeling comfortable that we can deal with all these. So, let's see. It's a little bit too close for comfort. Uh, I think you should duck. Yeah. Let's try this. Shot in the back. And then we have Kate. Hmm. Her stats is so good, but the reflexes are quite bad. Guy is suppressed, which means I could uh, scout a little bit, and we can see that there is no more hostile aliens close by. So we can go all in like this. But uh, yeah, we are not out of the woods yet because of this, like I said four stupid mind controls. And teleport by the way. Oh -ho! yeah. So Lars is under alien control. Interesting. So, what should we do? Let's try to kill these guys. Not even close. Whew. <laughs> Don't kill uh, Lars. He's going to join us soon. Just wait. I would 
like to kill this guy as well. But I'm a little bit concerned about friendly fire here. But we suppressed him. We have another sniper here. 49 tanyuns will be enough for a normal shot. 50-50. 50-50 is not enough. How about Alston? Nope. Not even Alston can do it. Damn it. Let's scout a bit outside while we wait for Lars to get under our own control again. So the thing is, he will be able to run out here or out here. So I'm thinking we should run out with Olo. So Olo will not have enough time units to take another shot against this alien, which is it's a bit bad, but. Okay. Okay, Luke, you can take a snapshot. I'm getting desperate. Thank you. So shut the door. How come that we can still see inside this? Strange. Don't think we have anyone inside, do we? I hope not, because if we have someone inside, that person is most likely going to die. Like the fact that I can't go to this door with um, without a jetpack. <laughs> um, hmm. Why can't I see in here? Oops. Yikes. Okay, Nira is unnerved. So she will be vulnerable to more psionic attacks. So I think we will get control back the next turn. I hope. Because if uh, Lars opened this door, <laughs> the next turn he will most likely just die. Mm. No, we could actually enter here. Never mind. So, yeah. Come on, don't mind control him again. Like I said before, he has pretty high bravery, I think. 80 bravery, so that's really good. So I'm not sure how they are able to mind control him. Must be like uh, one in a million, or perhaps like one in ten or something. Especially since when you're doing so great in a mission, you're likely to get. Um, I'm actually concerned about this one. Let's bring her back here since she's unnerved. I don't want her to go berserk on her teammates. I mean, every single soldier here is worth where I mean I've been using them for many many missions so yeah losing them to uh, mind control is like the worst perhaps I should bring in another shield guy it's 
it's almost like I'm not sure how to do this, but I guess you could run around, run around without weapons, having the weapons in your backpack or something. So if you get mind control, it's just like well, whatever. I'm actually going to spread out a little bit here, I think. Check the store, engine room. Big surprise, no one's there. Okay. Let's reload for Luke here. Nikolai, you can take a teleporter. You are kind of expendable. Snipers should stay in the back. And I would like to have one more shield guy up here. But then it's a question if I should bring more people up or not. Let's do it. can uh, tag along but in the back so slowly and steady she will get her bravery back but, but it feels like they are doing the sonic attacks in every other turn so now they are done sonic attacks so now it should be safe one turn I hope front here. Hmm. Let's actually have you inside here. It doesn't really matter. I, I think we should almost try to be as quick, quick as possible because of the psionic attacks. I really don't like them. I like the fact that you can do things like that, reload while you're running and the game doesn't crash because that feels like something that should be able to crash a game when you do multiple things at the same time. Hmm. Should we get closer or not? Let's get a little bit closer. Are they still attacking the same? Or was that Olav? I think that was Olav. At least it's only one mind controlling attack. Okay, no one is in the react reactor room. So, yeah. Try to get people in position here. I had a feeling we should try to deal with everyone inside the next room as quick as possible. Hmm. Nikolai, let's go. Don't like to stand on this side because they will most likely have a good fire angle against that's you, so I will hide behind this reactor. It's super safe. Mm. Stay back here. Everyone else should. Um, well, let's bring Machine Gun Kate up. 
She can stand in line of fire, I guess. I hope. Look at when she gets one-shotted next turn, but whatever. Hmm. Oh, we really need all of... Get close like this. Too bad we don't really have the time units to <laughs> shoot need be but whatever oh let's not bother with her oh boy oh boy one more damn it lost both our shield guys like that this is a disaster most likely have people losing their mind now. Okay. So what can we do about this? Hmm. Well, we should use Olav to kill these guys. In one shot. And then kill him in another shot, but yeah. And we have the leader back there, and we have. Hmm. Some kind of elite here. Damn it. Let's do some scouting then. Okay, an officer. Burst fire, sure. Hmm. We have this guy, this guy. Who is he centering on right now? Not sure. I feel like it's, oh, someone is back there. So at least they will not be able to move that far forward, I hope. Let's heal Olaf a little bit. Bring Alston out the line of fire. Hmm. Yeah, really bad news. This was what I was uh, afraid of when I engaged this mission, but yeah, I wasn't... I mean, they never open the door and run out. This is like the first time they have run out like that. Okay, our corporal is getting a nerd. Not much to do about that. Hmm. 
I don't like these panels that they are so much in the way. Let's seal uh, all a little bit more. And then you can use your rifle again. Hmm, they didn't really move a whole lot, so they will most likely still have plenty of reaction shots left. And even if I bring Kate inside, since she has a heavy gun, she will be a prime target for any reaction sh shots. Cannot even throw grenades over these panels. How should we do this? Usually what we do is we use shields, but Since I don't really have any <laughs> shield guys alive right now, and their pistols are gone, Perhaps I should throw a grenade like this. Will I have the time units to move out then? Not really. Thinking about uh, throwing a grenade to destroy most of these panels. Hmm. Both these door doors are busted. Oh well, <laughs> seems like we have decided to run out. Um, can you throw a grenade here? Kind of. Not sure how far, far you throw it though, so I will kind of have to move back with all my guys. mission is such a failure. <laughs> Look at that, she's hallucinating. Good thing I didn't bring her with me. Berserking. Yeah! Teach that door. Alright. So my plan didn't really work because these things are almost indestructible it seems. Hmm. I like the fact that they are hiding behind this thing so you cannot even see them. So he got shot in the back. That's how I roll. So, bring Mr. Shield Guy in here. I will actually move forward one more square. Great throw, great throw. Hmm. 
So, yeah. How to deal with this sucker? Bring another sniper here. Thank you. So it's only the leader left here. time around which is good because well hmm. I actually think I could move here and then take a shot at him without him doing any anything against me but I would prefer him to shoot at my shield Let's see if he does reaction if I against machine gun Kate here. Nope. Oh boy. So lost both my uh, shield guys in this mission. So yeah. I should really just uh, bomb uh, carriers. I feel. But at least we got some money, but I mean, it's way too dangerous. But this time, I might have had a chance to avoid that by not uh, clumping up three, peop three people at the door. But I'm not sure how he was able to see them and have people camping the door like that with grenades. But yeah. So. It's a little bit of a strange position now where we almost have to do missions to level guys up because we lost two max level guys almost. Um, so yeah. And if we check our soldiers... Well, we cannot check them right now. Let's uh, wait until they get back. So if we check our soldiers, we can see that these guys have been on like 66 missions. So, yeah. It will at least take... I mean, Thomas is still like a rookie almost, even if he has 37 missions. So, it will take some time to replace these guys, but we will do that in the next episode. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.